This is Cairo. It's much quieter now than it was at the beginning of the year, when hundreds of thousands of frustrated young Egyptians took to the streets. It was a revolution that toppled the government. And now, after the recent referendum, the way is clear for elections later in the year. But Egypt's underlying problems remain. More than half the population is younger than 24. They may be educated, but most young people are unemployed. In fact, 90% of jobless Egyptians are under the age of 30. Hundreds of thousands are graduating every year from the education system and from vocational schools. And over 700,000 of jobs have to be created every year to meet the intake of these graduates. And it's a tremendous challenge. And this challenge will only get greater. Throughout the Arab world, it's estimated that 51 million new jobs will need to be created over the next 10 years. Two decades ago, Egypt was already grappling with this problem, and they decided to embark on a remarkable social experiment. I'm dead. Hassan Abdul Rahman used to be an accountant, but now he's one of 40,000 graduates who, over the last 20 years, have headed to the desert to farm. A national newspaper announced that the government was trying to solve the unemployment problem for young graduates, and there were several options. One was to buy some cheap farmland that you repaid over 30 years. Like Hassan, most of the graduates knew nothing about farming. They turned to organizations like the UN's International Fund for Agricultural Development, or IFAD, for training in farming, irrigation, and for links to export markets. We found graduates were more receptive to new ideas. With some training, we were able to introduce new crop varieties suitable for export. All of these things generated economic growth in desert communities. Four out of ten graduates failed. But those that remained have had some financial success. Hassan has sold his mangoes and apricots. Others supply Heinz, one of the world's largest food processors, with tomatoes. Together they have reclaimed more than one million acres of land. At a time when food security is a global concern, this experiment has turned desert into productive land. And now there's a whole new economy outside of the bursting cities. Workers come from across Egypt to work here, so it has opened a great many opportunities. People who didn't have work found a way to farm, and now business is booming. It's unclear how this experiment will continue under the new leadership. But what is certain is that governments in the region will have to come up with creative solutions to employ their young people in the years to come. This is Joanne Leverton, IFAD TV.